Hi everyone, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles realtor. Today I'm gonna to be discussing a brand new business venture with a past client of mine, and I'm super excited to share this with you. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, take a moment to click the subscribe button below and the bell for updates. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, it's me, Corey Summers, your local Los Angeles realtor. Today I'm here with one of my clients, Aiko, and I sold her, her husband, a lovely townhome a couple years ago now, right? 2020. Yeah, the like, best timing yeah. for us. <laughs> right. And um, since then, you've launched your own business. Yes. So I wanted to sit down with her today so she can share about her business because it might be something that speaks to you and something that she can help you with. Share okay. a little bit about what you're doing now in your okay. business. Uh, I'm at QX Finance. Okay. I do financial planner. To uh, I support my clients to have the necessary steps to achieve their goal in a most efficient manner. Okay. Yeah. Every client is different. I tailor made the financial strategies to each client mm -hmm. and educate them and support and follow until they accomplish their goal. So it's going to be a long term relationship. So it's it's a it's a life journey. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, at what point do you uh, get involved with your clients? Is this something that someone at a high school should be seeking you out, or are these working professionals that already maybe have some things in play through their job? Like, what is what does your clients look like? Uh, they're at, at this moment, most of them are family. Okay. Yeah, seeking to buy a house. Oh, of really? Course. Yeah. Hey, we know where they're going next. <laughs> I think that's buying a house is one of their goal. Okay. One of their big goal, huge okay. goal. Okay. So I want to help to accomplish their goal, mm -hmm. like funding or not the mortgage. I forgot the word of the like buying. the deposit. Yeah, deposit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're helping them kind of put together a strategy to save. Yeah. And and. and you know, like we, I always, so I, I worked in finance before and, and I do have the, my insured financial products license, but they always talk about having buckets, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like bucket a, too. Your, your main mm -hmm. account for your bills, a bucket for savings, mm -hmm. a bucket for this. So like you're kind of going over that whole plan with them. Okay. What are you seeing happening right now? I mean, there's so much in play. People, you know, because of the pandemic, we're staying in, they, they were saving more money. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, mortgage rates have gone up a little bit, which scared some people. And we have inflation, which is making everything expensive. Yeah. But what are you seeing as far as people's concerns or the trends or something that they should be looking at right now? Okay, I think a lot of people just stop thinking about buying a house at this moment. Yeah, they got scared. <laughs> yeah, and so they're like accumulating phase now. So they are looking for a better interest rate yep. to accumulate, but at the same time, they need to have emergency fund. Mm -hmm. They need to pay for their kids' education. Right. So they need to save money mm -hmm. at the same time using a lot of money. So right. that's a challenging for them. Yeah. And uh, I'll try to find the best way, most efficient mm -hmm. strategy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's interesting because, you know, it, the way the mortgage industry was reacting to the Fed's raising rates over the last year, we saw severe Fed rate hikes, which was really to slow down inflation, which they've determined has now happened. And I was even at a conference this week, and the reality is mortgage rates peaked in November. Every professional I talked to, every expert that I followed, I'm not talking about the people reporting on the news with the sensational headlines that saying, oh, prices are dropping or price values are falling. Please. Get your facts from someone who's following the facts, not a news station that uses infotainment. Um, but those rates have peaked and now they're steadily coming down. Even just last week, there was a couple of lenders that have some programs that are in the fives again. And that's great. It's much better to be in the fives and the sevens, but yeah. we've also all been very spoiled. When I bought yeah. my first place, <laughs> my first, too. yeah, I mean, my, my, the first property I ever bought, mm -hmm. I still own. Right? I lived there for 13 years. It was a townhome too, and now I rent it out. But when I bought it, my interest rate was 6.5%, right? Yes. Now I've refinanced it into a lower rate mm. because of all the rate drops, but people forget that when you need a place to live, you're either paying someone else's mortgage or you're paying your own. And yes, that rate might make you feel a little uncomfortable, but rates do fluctuate. And so 
we hit the peak, they're gonna come down, there's other programs. The key thing is to work with great professionals, professionals you trust, and check in because there's always changes and shifts. And anytime the rates are down that you can get a better rate that's gonna mm -hmm. save you three, five, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500, do it. It makes sense. Yeah, and especially the market was confusing last yeah, year. That's true. And it's going to be confusing one this year. So we shouldn't react each time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I saw something just the other day that was saying Tesla stock might go down to $30. Mm -hmm. And I bought it right at the split. So I paid like $300 almost. And I'm saying, hmm, $30. If I dump another $1,500, mm -hmm. hey, I'll make a couple grand when it pops back up. And then I'm selling because like, there's a lot going on with that wow. company. That I'm like, yeah. But <laughs> are, do you talk about talk investing as well? Or, or what Not kind of yet. vehicles are you yeah. putting people in? Not yet for the investment. Preparing for the license okay. for the investment. The Series Seven. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not helping them for the investment the product, but I have a uh, partner mm -hmm. who can work on together. Right. Okay. But right now, people just think that in the long term. Yes. Everything seems to be long term. Don't picture at this moment. Right. Because think. the reality is, though, the possible short short term problems don't happen to most people. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know. Yes, there was a time you bought a home and maybe you had a life change and you had to move suddenly. That's when you saw a loss in the mortgage meltdown back in 2008 to 2009, right? Because everything kind of shifted overnight. But if you were going to stay in your home five years or, or longer, you're, you're, it came right back up, right? Mm -hmm. And so really and truly, you should think about things with your finances mm -hmm. from a long-term perspective, buying a home from... A longer term perspective than just a year or two. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we can always think about the refinancing. Right. That's really possible. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any um, great tips we can leave people off with today? Okay, so for the financial aspect for this year, yep. we shouldn't panic mm -hmm. any you know market news, big news, even the big news. Mm -hmm. Be calm. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, make sure to have an emergency fund available. Yes. We're not sure what's going to happen in this market under this circumstance. And also make sure to have a control over your asset. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I, I know there might be some people out there that have additional questions or maybe want to set up an appointment with Seiko. You work mostly in the Los Angeles yes. area. Okay. I have all of her contact information below so you can schedule that appointment. And she's amazing. We had so much fun looking at property. <laughs> it was really a good yeah, time. Yeah, I, I keep searching for the next one. <laughs> hey, ready when you're ready. <laughs> Thanks again so much for taking the time to sit with me today. We are obviously at an office here, and do you mostly have your clients come to you? Do you go to them? How does that work? I usually I work on the Zoom. The okay. Zoom meeting is most of the part I do, okay. and then I, I'm pretty sure to com commute to their house, but a lot of people feel more comfortable, comfortable on Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, I think that's the one good thing about the pandemic. Yeah. Zoom has been around that. for a long time, QR codes for around, around for a long time, mm -hmm. and now we're actually using these things like every week. So kudos if you had investment in Zoom stock. That was a good <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you again, guys, so much for watching. Be back next week with another video. See you soon. Bye.